what is up everybody, Nick here with another video. Um, I recently did a lot of walking in my shoes that I wear to work, which are not walking shoes, and I developed a blister. And after a time, that blister healed, but I was left with some dead skin, as you can see here. It's off, off my heel. So I peeled it off, I know, gross. I was gonna throw it away, but then I decided, you know, let's see what happens to skin that is exposed to drain cleaner, which, as we know, is sodium hypochlorite and sodium hydroxide, which are both strong bases. Um, I think something similar to what happened with hair is what will happen here, but um, let's find out. Let's see how long it takes. So, you know, if maybe you spill drain cleaner on you, we'll be able to see how long uh, you have to wash it off before you start doing some damage. And this is a it's a pretty thick piece of skin here off of my heel. So I'll set up the time lapse and we will get started. Okay, I think it's been close to two hours now, and you can kind of see that the skin is really gel-like, and uh, there's also not very much of it left. So, after about two hours, it's been pretty well destroyed. So, you know, if you get this stuff on you, it's probably not the end of the world. Just wash your hands pretty quickly and wash them pretty thoroughly, and you should be okay. The danger is, you know, if you get it on yourself and don't realize it, say a little bit splashes onto your, your shoulder, or your hand, or something like that, and you don't realize it, two hours goes by and it will leave like a blister or eat a hole in your hand even. Uh, it it's, can be pretty nasty stuff, so always be careful and use caution, but this shows you that this, and this is probably the same exact ingredients as Drano. So you have water, sodium hypochlorite, and sodium hydroxide. Um, I think those are the exact same ingredients as Drano. So whatever drain cleaner you're using, if it is an alkaline or basic drain cleaner, not an acidic one, it seems to be that uh, as long as you get it, or as long as you get it washed off pretty quickly, you should be okay. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked it or dislike if you hated it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and um, also leave a comment down below uh, for other stuff that you'd like to see exposed to different acids or different bases just to see what exactly happens. Thanks.